What's up guardians welcome. I'm r32 underscore epiphany and I make destiny to videos for all guardians new and old. So in today's video we are reviewing the new exotic sidearm buried bloodline. Which can be acquired randomly by completing the new dungeon warlords room. We will be reviewing buried bloodline. Buy here on the moon with ad control. Then damage test with Kara. And then lastly running through 1830 legend lost sector. Also this gameplay showcases just the base sidearm itself. Without the catalyst as I am still working towards it. But what makes this sidearm so good is its intrinsic trait hunger and quarrel. Which states double fires tracking bolts. Landing bolts leeches health from the target. This sounds pretty nice right? Well its intrinsic trait goes hand in hand with its trait perk called violent reanimated. Which states multiple final blows with this weapon grant devour to the wielder. This is a really nice perk for this weapon. Alright let's get into some Carl damage testing. So for this we are going to be testing body damage and crit damage outside of a well of radiance. And body and crit damage inside of a well of radiance. So crit damage outside of a well of radiance comes out to be 11. 250 to per bolt and the body damage come out to be 9331 per bolt on Carl. So together total crit damage comes out to be 22. 500 for and for body 18660 to all coming together to a total base damage of 41166 outside well of radiance and radiant. So now, we will apply well of radiance. And without radiant being used so the damage could be much higher if you use it while radiant. So crit damage to Carl inside of a well of radiance comes out to be 21,098 per bolt which comes out to be 42,196 with both bolts hitting Carl. The body damage comes out to be 17,496 per bolt. And the total body damage inside of a well of radiance is 34. 992 and altogether the total damage inside of a well of radiance comes out to 52,488. So with damage inside and outside of a well, with crit and body damage it all adds up to 93,654. That is not bad damage. Lastly, we are going to be running through 1830 Legend Lost Sector mainly to test it out of champions. And the Hydra for the moment. Enjoy the gameplay for a few as you get to see this exotic. In action. Alright lastly, I wanted to just give my final thoughts on this weapon. I think this weapon is a very solid exotic. It's fun. It has pretty good damage for a sidearm and imagine pairing it with the exotic gauntlets mechaneer. Estric sleeves, that would pretty cool. I might make a build on that. As a whole I feel like this exotic can be really fun. And I bet the catalyst will definitely improve this exotic. And I would definitely recommend grinding for with all that being said that pretty much concludes this review on the new exotic sidearm buried. Bloodline. If you enjoyed this video or found it in some way, helpful, informal, or useful be sure to smash that like button down below which I would be super grateful for. And if you like my content consider subscribing. If you want to check out more of my videos. I will have some link down in the description below. And with that it's been a pleasure. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one Guardians.